All right, so for problem set one, question one, there are two parts, A and B. So the first part, A, is rank the following alkyl halides according, according to increased SN2 reactivity. The second part is try to specify which of these two reactions will proceed with a higher rate. So part A is pretty straightforward. So here what you want to look at is you want to look at the structure of of your substrate or the structure of the electrophile in this SN2 reaction. So here you have a tertiary substrate. These never undergo SN2 reactions. Here you have a secondary substrate. These are borderline. Sometimes they'll go SN2, sometimes they'll go SN1, sometimes they'll go E1, E2. And then here you have a primary substrate which is ideal for SN2 reactions but you have a lot of steric bulk here so when you compare them to these two substrates so hopefully you can identify that A is the worst substrate B is second worst then we get into C which is a somewhat reasonable substrate and then so the question is what's the difference between D and E and it's the leaving group hopefully you can recognize that bromide is a better leaving group than chloride <clears throat> so then it was E then D for part B, the question is twofold. In, in the first part, understanding which of these two SN2 reactions are better. So that, this is an important point. This is an SN2 reaction because even though this is a polar protic solvent, you're dealing with strong nucleophiles in both cases, right? So hopefully you recognize this thiolate. So when we have that list of nucleophiles we presented in lecture, thiolate is a better nucleophile than methoxide. So the thiolate reaction will proceed at a higher rate as compared to the methoxide. You contrast that down here to which of these is a stronger base. So thiolate is a better base. It's a harder nucleophile. This is a softer nucleophile. It's a softer electrophile. Um, and then hopefully you can recognize that there's no way that this is going to undergo SN2. So you're still with strong bases or strong nucleophiles, but for this problem it's strong bases. So hopefully you recognize this is an E2 reaction and then that, that methoxide will be a stronger base than thiolate. So this is the preferred reaction.